You're home already. And you're gonna burn the place down some night. Well, I got it all under control. Shh, you're gonna wake Mom up. No, she's not gonna wake up. No, Dad, Dad. What's wet? What's wet? Come on, what? Get up. What is? Mark, why don't we step into the other room so we can talk, all right? I was in here watching some movie. James Bond movie, the one with the painted girl. Where was your wife? She goes to bed early. When did you hit the sack? After the movie. Did you talk to her? She was already... Asleep. And you're sure the front door was locked? I guess. <laughs> She's just a lock. Oh, no. I can't believe this. <laughs> you just sit right there, Mr. Merrick. We're going to test for powder residue on his hands, all right? The door wasn't locked. Sometimes Mom forgets. Your parents keep any money or jewelry around? No. My father paints apartments. They hardly get by. You keep a regular schedule at the hospital, right? Yeah, in the ER. Did I tell you my father's deaf in one ear? So if he sleeps on his right side, he can't hear anything. So if somebody was in the house... Yeah, he would have slept right through it. As Mary, how long has your father had a drinking problem? My father doesn't drink. Neither did I. Come on, his hands are shaking. He reeks of breath freshener. Why don't you tell us what really happened? The door was locked when I got home. Dad was asleep in bed. He'd had too much to drink. Mom was next to him. She was dead. Did he say anything about how that happened? Said he couldn't remember anything. How did they get along? They fought. But Dad never hit her. He loves her. He didn't do this. That's why I got rid of the bottles, because I knew what you would think. What? Daddy's a little helper. Yeah, I used to have one like that. I keep telling you, I can't remember anything. That happened a lot when you can't remember things. Yeah, but something like this I'd remember. We found gunpowder residue on your hands. It has to be you. But I don't have a gun, so how could I have killed her? Well, that's what we're trying to find out. So let's take it step by step. You were watching Goldfinger on TV and drinking rye and ginger? You're right, I remember that. And your wife, she wasn't happy you were drinking, was she? Said it disgusted her. Well, what's it to her? You're a grown-up. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, right. That's what I kept telling her. Yeah, fat lot of good it did. I bet she just never shut up about it, right? No, never. Yeah, and you just want to sit there in peace and watch your movie. Uh-huh. So you go and you get the gun from its hiding place. Well, how could I do that if I don't have a gun? We already established you have a lot of blackouts. Yeah, I know. All right, you're standing there in front of the bed with the gun. Carol's flat on her back, snoring, her mouth wide open. You remember that? Yeah, I remember that. And you pulled the trigger. I don't remember. That's the way it happened, isn't it, Jimmy? I don't know. Yeah, come on. I don't... I don't remember. Carol Merrick called in a complaint against him two years ago. She had his handprint on her face. She dropped the charges. Yeah, nothing new there. We find the gun, it's over. CSU's opening the drain pipes as we speak. The canvas is batting zero with the neighbors. No one heard a shot. We gotta come up with something to turn him around. As soon as he sobers up, he's gonna wonder why we haven't booked him. Yeah, and figure out we were pulling his chain about the powder residue. And we recovered a nine millimeter slug out of Carol Merrick. They sent it to ballistics. Six with a right twist, Italian steel, Beretta 92 series. Big gun. Even if he fired it from across the bedroom, the slug should have gone clear through. Through the headboard into the wall. Well, maybe the bullet had a short load. They don't quality test every one of these at the factory. Still would have exited the skull. We did a muzzle to first surface test. This little piggy was fired from 50 to 100 yards away. 
Unless Merrick played a bank shot around the room before it hit her, we got a problem. Well, it didn't come through a brick wall, and I didn't see any broken windows. But you weren't the first one at the scene. You got the hump that did her. Does it matter if he sleeps with the windows open or closed? If it didn't, we wouldn't be keeping you from your busy schedule. It was closed. Really? Well, the daughter told us her parents had a running battle on the subject. Mr. Merrick liked it open. Well, I guess that night he lost. Well, you know what, Wheeler? We got a couple of unknown prints off the window. We find they matched yours. All right, all right, all right. And look, look, look. I'm coming off of this flu thing. The room was freezing. The window was wide open. I closed it. You know, it would have been nice if you included that in your report. Yeah, it would have. Thanks for the dog. <laughs>